Safety is a journey, not a destination. In fact, it is more like life itself. Despite the fact that all of us wish to remain healthy, but we do fall sick. It makes us aware about the fact that when our efforts do not materialize, we discover that there is someone out there who has a greater control over things around us. We often call him by many names, like God, Lord or Creator. Does that mean we should do nothing? No, not at all. In fact, our part is to do the effort and the aspect of fate be in the hand of our Lord. Whatever we may do, death will take its course. Does that mean we should not see the doctor? No, not at all. While God created illnesses, so did he create cures. It is on us to make efforts to find the cure, unless it be for death. In fact, there is a lot of metaphysical aspect to all that we do. Indeed, we as human beings have progressed because of the mistakes we made. We learned from mistakes and improved upon them. But if we knew there were no dangers, then we would have become complacent. That is the time danger strikes us. Hence, this proves that despite our best efforts, sometimes accidents do take place. As Herbert Hoover had rightly said, about the time we can make both ends meet, somebody moves the ends. This quote says it all, life is like a sailboat rocking in the high seas, we remain in a state of constant danger, that it may break apart, but we also have a hope, that we will reach at our destination safely. Similarly, safety is no different. Hence, there is no such thing as, perfect safety. It requires, persistent efforts to manage risks. Thus, we remain in continuous state of unease. Persistently fighting against complacency, and the journey of safety continues. ICAO provides a universal definition of safety. It is a state in which, risks associated with aviation activities, related to, or, in direct support of the operation of aircraft, are reduced and controlled to an acceptable level. Therefore, every organization must continue to do what it can possibly do to manage risks and achieve safety. Thus, continue on this journey of safety with persistence and perseverance. This will help in creating a positive safety culture where management is committed to safety. Incidents are freely reported and investigated. It is just in its implementation and above all, safety becomes a core value which is not compromised. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Whosoever of you sees an evil or something bad, let him change it with his hand, and if he is not able to do so, then let him change it with his tongue by raising voice, and if he is not able to do so, then with his heart, by feeling bad, and that is the weakest of level of faith. So, let's apply this principle in practicing safety. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. This video is dedicated to a safety man named Norm Comich from USA. May he rest in peace.